Hello again, this is Esan. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install JDK Eclipse and how you can use this to move your first Carol program um, or use this to environment in conjunction with a blank Carol project to move Carol one spot or move Carol. We'll understand the whole thing as we go through. So first, let's go the download folder which is downloads in my case I will install JDK which is Java Development Kit version number 8 now if I have any previous version of Java Development Kit I will have to go to the add and remove section of the Windows system and remove any previous version of Java and Java Developer Kit let's go and check if I have any previous versions so I Go to the start menu, I start writing programs and I go and click on add and remove programs and I wait till it shows up. Okay, and I go down, I go down, I go down and I can see that I already have Java number version 8 and Java development kit version 8 installed in my computer which means I don't really have to install it again because I already have it. However, if in your case you had something different like Java 7 or Java 6 or Java development kit 7 or Java development kit number 6 in that case you would have to manually uninstall them so now that being said I will go and show you how you can start this process but I will not show you the complete process because what you have to do is you click on this file you press enter or double click whichever is convenient you wait and you always say yes um, or next something like that and you have to wait till the system loads this we're still waiting Um, maybe a few more seconds okay here we go it's about to start so I click on this and you can see this environment showing up what you do is just you do next 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 and at one point it will say either close or finish and in that part before you check for close or finish you will see something written on top that Java Development Kit 8 has been installed successfully. So you just do next, 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 next till you find close or finish. Okay, so I will not show this. Uh, you have to go figure this thing out for yourself. Uh, now I'm going to close this because I already have this installed and I'm going to move on to show you how you can install Eclipse. Okay, so I cancel this thing out. However, in your case, you will have to go through this process next 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 till you find finish and close or close so now how do we install uh, Eclipse um, what we do is basically we click on Eclipse and right click and I do extract here I'm using a file uncompression software which is called WinRAR uh, you can if you want you can install that um, however Windows also has a mm, file compressed file uninstalling software so uh, I think you should be fine if you have some familiarity with this um, so we wait it's almost done and it's done so you can see Eclipse has been extracted here always after extraction check if the there is file under in the folder files in the folder here we can see we have the files okay so what we do in this point is we copy it we go to C drive program files and control V and I say continue it's almost there uh, 
little more, a little more. And it's copied. It has been copied to the pro in the, into the program files folder. I double click, I click on Eclipse, I right click and I do send to desktop. What it does, it basically creates a shortcut in my desktop. I click on the file, I press F2 and I, I am going to rename the file to Eclipse. And now we are going to fire Eclipse for the first time. And as it seems that it's starting. So we wait. So when you start Eclipse, there might be a window which says select workspace. In my case, it doesn't come, but in some cases it might come. Uh, so in that case, what you basically do is, uh, don't worry, so it will be something like this. What you basically do, you select a location where you want to save all your files that you work on Eclipse, the things that you work on Eclipse, if and if you want them to be saved in some other location in the computer, you go and save it there. In my case, it will be workspace CS115, uh, which is in the D drive. Uh, so that is my location. Uh, but when you open up your computer, it will come up like this. Uh, so it will say select your workspace, you provide your location and then you say OK. And it will restart the Eclipse environment. Um, and let us wait for it to show up. So okay, now Eclipse is uh, has been opened and the workspace is in D drive uh, workspace CS115 location. Now what we have to do is basically uh, get the blank Carol project. So for that we go to downloads, we select the blank Carol project, we right click and say extract here. It is going to be extracted. In your case, it will be easy. Uh, so the additional window which came was because I already had Carol here. So let's do it again. Let's delete the extracted version and then click on this, right click again, extract here and it's done. So Carol has been extracted. So I copy it. I go to my workspace, which is in D drive um, workspace and I do control V. Let's check again, actually not D drive, it's basically D drive, uh, documents, workspace CS115, and I do control V. Okay, now we are all set. Go to Eclipse again, go to Stanford menu, import project, browse, we go to workspace, it's already selected, we select Carol blank project, and we say okay everything is all set you don't have to change anything here we say finish and you can see the blank out project showing up on the left in the package explorer section i click on this bar i click on this bar i click on blank carol java double click a file shows up and if you haven't been in class you know this uh, familiar situation you just write move you put a semicolon at the end you save the file control s and then you run the file as you can see run and it will come up and if you press on start program carol moves thank you